Hi there, thanks for coming. This is a little bit unusual since I'm standing behind the camera, but I wanted to show you something that would solve the energy crisis in not 10 years, not 20, but within three to five. This is a picture off the web of the water process, and you can't see it very clearly, but I'm going to talk about it and I'll give you the website so you can go see for yourself. And you'll know that um, this, is a, this is the explanation that ties with this picture. Here you have the water and you have evaporation off of lakes and the water goes from the sun and adding energy to the system. And the water goes up and, and becomes water vapor up in the air and over here it condenses and rains down on mountains usually or on plains. The water then collects in the lake. And I put a dam here on the diagram that's not in the original picture because when you dam that up, you can generate electricity, hydroelectric projects. And then the water runs back into the sea where it evaporates again. Now, I want to show you my a patent that I've applied for in the U.S. government. And I'm going to shift the camera and I'm going to enlarge the picture a little bit. And I'll give you the patent application so you can see that. Okay. And here, so this is a, the, a cycle for pentane. The pentane is a, a part of natural gas and of oil, and it boils at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's a lot of places that get very hot, even in the early morning, like Phoenix, Arizona. It'll be 95, 100 just in the air by 10 o'clock. If you have a black pipe laying out here with pantane in it, the pipe will get up to 140 degrees. So the pantane boils at 95, and because the pantane creates a pressure, it'll send the pantane up a height of 300 feet above the, where it boils. Well, if you take the pentane vapor up this hill and put it into a lake of water, even in Phoenix, Arizona, if you have a large lake that is more than 10 feet deep, it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Pentane condenses in there, becomes a liquid. And you know that with hydroelectric dams, the water that falls down the pipe creates a pressure that turns the generator. The pentane is almost exactly like, like water, except that you have to keep it from escaping from the system. But it falls down the same 180, 200 feet, and it generates electricity. Now, the lake of the water is always going to be 70 degrees Fahrenheit. When the sun comes up, the pentane is going to evaporate. So you have a continuous cycle during the day. You can generate a lot of electricity if you have a lot of pentane. And even though the pentane may cost more per gallon than water, if you have enough pentane and it generates enough electricity and you use it over and over and over again, we actually did some studies and we found that if we had this system, even if there was a mile involved, the pressure would be so great that it would be 140 miles an hour going up the bottom of the hill. That's pretty impressive. Anyway, that's the patent I've applied for. We go out and build these things. We don't need any electricity made by oil. More to burn on the streets so the price will come down. We don't need any natural gas to make, make as much electricity. We actually figured out that we could make a, um, a different type of configuration, another patent that's been applied for, that it would only take 100 square miles to make all the electricity in the United States. So that's it, folks. We can make all the electricity in the United States with 100 square miles of this stuff. And once we build it, we don't have to do anything else. It'll, it'll just keep cycling over and over and over again. 
All we need is the energy from the sun. There's 25,000 square miles in some of the parks that get up over 95 degrees most of the year. Hey, what's not to like? Anyway, that's the, I'll, I'll, on the description I'll give the patent application and, and uh, I am looking for somebody to commercialize this. I'm not the person for that. I'm looking for someone to be the CEO. So if you know somebody or you yourself have the qualifications to take care of a multi-billion dollar business, contact me. I'm looking for somebody. Thanks a lot.